Today, I'm happy to be joined here with Angela Rooks Trutzik. She is the CEO of the Interval Home here in Lloydminster, and they have an exciting project that they we're hoping to launch at a luncheon, but unfortunately due to the coronavirus, uh, we have to launch it over social media, which is uh, just as good. Uh, it's called She's a Hero Project, which honors women in our community who are or were inspired and have made an impact in others' lives. Thank you so much for joining me today. Tell me a little bit about what She's a Hero Project truly is. Um, well, first off, thanks for having me. and. And yeah, we were, um, we've been planning for the last few months to kind of launch it with a, a luncheon and, a, and a, to be able to have people together and really kind of discuss what the project is about. So um, thank you for, for helping us launch it uh, virtually and, and um, through the media on technology. The project is really, really exciting and something new, I think, to, to what Lloydminster has has seen in regard to supporting the um, shelter work that we do and we brought the concept to some stakeholders and some current supporters of the interval home society and they loved the idea and really what it is about is about recognizing women in our community as being heroes so somebody who has inspired um, another person um, you know whether it's your your mom your wife your grandma your sister your aunt or somebody who is, you know, known worldwide for being an inspirational person. So it's really um, up to you as an individual who you decide who is your hero. And what we're doing is we're selling um, individual tiles of an image of the person that's chosen as the hero. And then we're going to build out, um, put these individual tiles into a larger mural that will be placed in a, in a location in the community outside so that the public can view this um, art installation and see and, and look at all the different individual heroes in our um, community, as well as it will look like another image um, from afar when all the individual tiles are put together. Um, the project really is um, to, to really celebrate inspiration and really celebrate um, women and also to raise money for our Bridging the Gap program, which or a project, which is to increase mm -hmm. shelter space in our current emergency shelter. So that was a really long-winded version and explanation <laughs> of what the project is. No, that's perfect. It sounds absolutely incredible because I know the Interval Home does so much great work around the community for women and children. Mm -hmm. um, so what, what do people have to do to uh, submit their hero? And when can they see uh, this project, I guess, being built and the tiles being put up on the wall? So what's going to happen is once this project is fully launched, there is access through our website and we're, we actually have a project or cabinet campaign cabinet. So individuals who are working with us to, to reach out to the community on a one-on-one -on -one basis and um, kind of connect people with the opportunity to purchase the tiles. So we're doing it as far as the cabinet committee goes on a one-on-one -on -one basis, but people can always also contact us through our website which is intervalhome.org and they can get the information on there as well and we won't um, we'll be launching the actual um, the actual mural or art installation will actually be installed in the fall so our sell our, our period or our opportunity to sell the tiles or the, the individual apartment portraits will run through the next couple of months here and then the design and build work will be done for the project through the summer and then we'll unveil it in the fall. And then really quickly, when does the She's a Hero project officially launch? Um, it's officially launched as of now. Perfect. <laughs> you're, our, um, you're our first opportunity to launch it publicly. So awesome. Um, yeah, so that's exciting for us to, to, to take these ideas we've been talking about for a few months and, and um, you know, adapt them obviously to the situation that we're in due to the coronavirus and really try to work in a different way to, to continue to celebrate um, inspiration in our community while um, continuing to raise funds for our expanded shelter. I mean, that need doesn't go away, unfortunately. And, and we're cognizant that it's, it's a tough time in the community right now. So we thought that this would be um, a, a, an interesting and kind of fun and really personal way for people to, to contribute and, and to help out and 
And um, we know that it's a, an interesting time right now, but um, we felt strongly enough that the project was was meaningful for, for people to participate, but also um, able to help us secure a need for our um, the most vulnerable people in our community, which is as women and children and individuals fleeing domestic violence. Uh, yeah, that's amazing. And this project just sounds you know, just another way to uh, showcase the women in, uh, in our lives. And like you said, even if it is a celebrity, someone, whoever it is, all these women are just so inspirational to uh, the individual. So thank you so much for uh, chatting with me. And uh, hopefully this project is super successful and we'll be seeing a beautiful, um, a beautiful display Absolutely. in the fall. <laughs> you bet. And thank you for having me. Of course.